Well, COVID restrictions lifted a few weeks ago, but for frontline workers, the fight against the virus still continues. A pair of doctors tells our Lauren Edwards that as grateful as they are to see it all wind down, the last year was really tough to get through. The numbers are, are plummeting. They're really going well. Um, in West Michigan, that's mostly due to our vaccination numbers. As of right now, 60% of Kent County is fully vaccinated. A statistic Dr. Andrew Jamison of Mercy Health is glad to hear. We've actually had a few days uh, this last week where we've had zero positive cases coming out of St. Mary's, and I have not had that since last March. That's when the pandemic began in March 2020, and it quickly became one of the toughest years of Dr. Jameson's career. The frank answer is that it's been a mix between professionally rewarding and um, and pretty hard to deal with. Rewarding because he got to help patients and the community beat COVID. Hard because of the impact and toll it took on everyone. We lost so many really good nurses um, in our ICU and in our COVID units because they just were sick of watching people die. Um, it's a tough disease when you know you do everything right and people will still pass away. And the nurses were a lifeline for patients and their loved ones, says fellow Mercy Health doctor Claudia Jaron. They have been doing a great deal of work talking to the families and thinking of creative ways uh, to make sure that these patients uh, still feel, um, you know, loved and appreciated. Since the beginning of the pandemic, there's been close to 900,000 confirmed cases in the state, 21,000 deaths, and ever-changing rules and guidelines from the CDC and health departments. Certainly, you know, it has been a challenge with uh, making sure that we stay up to date on uh, the latest CDC recommendations or the latest uh, treatment updates, et cetera. She says they tried to accommodate all of them, especially when spikes occurred. As soon as we started seeing a slight increase or maybe an increase in the cases in areas around the uh, our county or in the state or even in the U.S., then I would always try to anticipate. So um, that certainly created some anxiety and stress. And the stress took a toll on their families. And we're seeing more and more how hard it was on my kids as, as we're kind of coming out of things. I have two nine-year-olds and they're begging to get vaccinated. So they don't have to live in fear of getting COVID. But the doctors say it was their loved ones that helped them get through the pandemic. And they're optimistic that it could all be ending soon. If we get our vaccination numbers up, we could really maybe be done with this once and for all. One, two, three. In Grand Rapids, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. And both doctors say the overwhelming majority of patients in the hospital right now for COVID are all unvaccinated. So they're asking everyone to get that shot as soon as you can.